Hello everybody, educators and bilingual teachers from all over the world. Welcome to another video of our series of interactive activities. And today we're going to cover a very interesting interactive activity called Brainstorm Carousel, which is also called Gallery Walk, if you've done it um, in another setting with this name. I've done it before and we've called it Gallery Walk, but you can also call it Brainstorm Carousel. So let's see what it entails. Um, so Brainstorm Carousel has the goal of getting students to use oral language and discussing different topics. It can be done in pairs, it can be done in small groups, and this activity can be done by any level except real beginners who may have some difficulties using language there and communicating, but who could do it with some support or some scaffolding. But anyways, I will highlight the source again of these activities, which is below. And how does brainstorm carousel work? Well, the teacher posts pieces of chart paper or poster paper on the wall. So you have poster paper on several walls, uh, on, on the several walls of the classroom. And in each poster paper, there are questions. So for example, you, you don't have to put one per side of the classroom. You can have like three poster papers on a wall, two on another, four on another, etc. And each poster paper has a question. And the question that's going to be there relates to what it is that you're teaching and what it is that you want your students to discuss. So in small groups, the students will rotate through the posters. How do they rotate? Well, you say, okay, group one, start in poster one. Group two, start in poster two. And then they spend maybe one or two minutes discussing and writing their answer. And then when you give them the command, they rotate, for example, clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on what you predetermine with them. So you rotate to the right, everyone, so that you have all groups going in the same direction. So if I started in poster one, I will, after the rotation, I'll be in poster two. And the group that was in poster would two will be in poster three, etc. Um, so that's how the rotation works. Uh, when students are uh, in facing the poster with the question, they have to discuss um, the, the question. They can either choose a group answer and write down the group answer, or you can ask each student to talk and discuss and then answer um, independently. The advantage of using groups is that you can give a color marker to each group and then you know what exactly each of the group um, each of the groups wrote by tracking their color, right? Um, if you want students to be more um, independently and if you can trust that your group will participate, you can have them write answers individually if they uh, disagree on or if there are disagreements in terms of how they can answer or if there can be disagreements. So, the teacher can use a timer, as I suggested, to manage the time the students will spend on each poster or question. All right, so let's see one example here. So in this example, the teacher gets students to brainstorm ways to save energy or to reduce the use of non-renewable energy uh, before the science lesson in which these concepts will be explored. So the students haven't had the science lesson. They don't even, they may not even know what renewable and non-renewable energies are. But that's not the point here. The point is to activate this experience that they have with conserving energy or saving things at home and then later connect that to the lesson and to the objectives of the lesson. That's um, one of the really uh, good ways to use um, this carousel. Uh, so the teacher posts, places the posters on the wall and asks students to walk around in small groups reading, discussing and answering each question. So. For this example, let's say that the first question, how can we save water at home, is the first one, and then you rotate uh, counterclockwise. The second one is how can we reduce the amount of trash. The third is how can we reduce pollution in our cities. And the fourth will be what types of energy are more environmentally friendly. So group one will start in station one, group two will start in station two, group three starts in station three, group four starts in station four. Do you want to have five or six posters? Great. You don't have to do one group, you don't have to have five or six groups, you can still do four. And in the beginning, three posters will be empty, but as the group rotates, they'll go to those posters, no matter what. So, um, the questions are, let's analyze them. How can we save water at home? Group discusses, um, agrees on an answer, writes down the answer or the possible ways. Time is up, teacher says, okay, rotate. So that group goes to, how can we reduce the amount of trash we produce? Same thing, they discuss, agree on an answer, write the answer, 
rotation ends continues uh, goes to um, how can we reduce pollution in our cities etc etc so the group that starts in one poster will uh, rotate counterclockwise and go to the next one so let's see another example in preparation for a class about animal adaptations the teacher puts students in small groups and asks them to rotate through the posters on the classroom walls on her or his command same rules as before each group will have one minute to spend on each poster during which they have to write the names of animals that match the, categ the categories listed. When given a command, they move clockwise to the next poster. And so in this way, they're going to move to the right. They're going to move clockwise. So uh, three they have to list three animals that hunt, three animals that swim, three animals that are active at night, three animals that run fast, three animals that eat plants, three animals that fly. Again, they'll be discussing um, agreeing on the list of animals, writing those animals. When time is up, they move to the next poster down on the right side. All right, so variation. You can use pictures to guide discussion. So in this, uh, in this variation, instead of writing about different ways to save energy, students look at the pictures and answer the question, is this a good way, is this way to obtain energy good or bad for the planet and why? So they see the picture, they write down on the poster um, next to the picture. All right, in the second variation, the students will use pictures also to generate a brainstorm, not really to generate a discussion, but the students will look at the pictures of animals and answer the question, is this animal a predator or prey? Which features help this animal defend itself? What special behaviors does it have to help it survive in the wild? Again, the students will be talking about the animals and indirectly talking about adaptations without possibly not even knowing what this is, if this is done prior to the lesson, right? So those are two variations that you can apply. I hope you, you have found the brainstorm carousel or the gallery walk a useful activity for your class. If you've liked this, please don't forget to like and to, to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you keep track of the other videos that we suggest at the end of this one and see you in the next video.